Hello and welcome from the hammock to you, dear ones. And today I want to pick up a, a different topic. There are quite a few things that really make us stuck, that keep us entrapped, enslaved and entangled. And really on all levels. And in my book that will come out at some point soon, Access Point Heart, first one is called unplugging so really this refers a lot to that idea of the book but what i'm sharing with you today is a little bit different many of us perceive and i've spoken to quite a few people that suffering is a human condition and we all need to suffer whether it's written in our astrological charts or whether it's the lineage, the family, humanity is here to suffer. And I always question that. So today I want to offer you how to exit out of suffering. Suffering really only exists on a low, low frequency. So in other words, if our frequency and our dimensional experience is very low, what we often refer to as 3D or even 4D, because 4D is still struggling and suffering, then we experience suffering. So how do we exit? There is a few premises that, that I want to mention before. The world of Dolores Cannon. So the different um, kind of beings that came through, the waves that came through. And according to Julia Barras, it's actually four, the diamonds came in already. So there's waves of people who came in and I feel part of our mission, I'm surely one of them, um, came here to break these old things. So it, it is a breaking on, on many levels. And the other part is, of course, there is a way to look at the world in different eyes, with different eyes, and actually live differently. Many are already referring to there is two worlds. There's one that's the old 3D, and there's another that's already five-dimensional. So suffering is definitely at a very low frequency. So if we can go into a higher frequency, and this is not so hard because the cosmos provides us with all these frequencies. Earth, beautiful mother Earth, Gaia Pachamama is evolving. And again, her frequency and energy is also supporting us. So the dimensional shift is crucial to exit from suffering. And the other very important part ingredients or choice point is that you start recognizing you have a choice and that choice takes a lot of consciousness we are conditioned into believing that something has to be like that so i must suffer it has to be like that my ancestors collective suffering akashic records all that kind of stuff actually keeps us entrapped and imprisoned. But actually, we do have a choice. Now, all of these things that I'm mentioning here, the dimensional shift, the choice, the consciousness, and I will have a few more points for you today, because I'm talking about five, I said, right? They are a praxis. So it's like how... Louise Hay talks really about affirmation. It's not fake it till you make it. It is making a conscious choice to plant a new seed and cultivate that seed. Now, of course, if that seed that you're planting is not aligned with you, your inner self, your connectedness to source, it doesn't work. It's the same like manifestations. If you are not aligned to source, if it's not the higher calling, if it's not in harmony, if it hurts or 
or is not good for others or takes something away from others or nature, it also doesn't work. So it's very similar with these five ingredients. It starts with you believing it. So we had the choice and the choice is not just once making a choice. The choice comes again and again and again. And yes, the universe is testing us and it's not malicious. It's not to cause us any problems. It's just we need to ground ourselves. We need to create this new dimension for ourselves, that new reality, that new way of being or harmonic states of being. We truly, truly need to live in it. And we can't fake it, but it is also a cultivation. So the more conscious we get, the more we can make that choice not to suffer. The more connected we are to our heart, to the collective consciousness, not, not the collective consciousness that is still in the lower frequencies, the more we are aware of the dimensions and the frequencies, especially the dense and the lower ones, and the more we actually know there is a lighter way, the easier it gets. And it is interesting to me, at the cusp of a new time, and I'm going back now at the beginning of the Piscean Age, was actually Buddha, Gautama, who was so clear that it could be an end of suffering. And now at the end of the Piscean Age, into the Aquarian Age, I'm offering to you again to exit suffering. I'm not Buddha. It's not about this comparison. It's about synchronicity. It is about how we are presented always with something new and a choice. And this brings me, of course, to one of my favorite musicians and Jamaicans, fellow Jamaicans, Bob Marley. When one door is closed, many more is open. This is said in many different languages and many different cultures, but I, ha I hope you understand that truth. We can choose to stay in these local frequencies, lower frequencies and dimensions, and we can start cultivating and co-creating this higher dimension, this higher frequency. And to cultivate, we need choice, we need connectedness, we need consciousness. And so I know I'm, hold, I'm owing you another ingredient. So we have the choice, we have the consciousness, we have the connectedness, and we have the dimensions on the frequencies that, let me put it in one. The last one is courage. Courage is a funny thing. Courage is when you do it anyway. Courage is when you follow your heart. And as you may be aware, the word courage in English comes from cœur in French and cœur is the heart. So it takes a constant courage to choose that consciousness, that frequency, that dimension that helps you to exit suffering. So I hope this is a nice little introduction for you. And I want to bring a little bit of flute to you today so you get kind of a taste of what it is like to exit suffering that is accessible to all of us. And sound frequency is a beautiful way, a beautiful bridge, a beautiful key to shift dimensions, frequencies, consciousness. And so let me make a bridge for you to feel united, to feel to feel the, the choice. It doesn't mean, I think I need to mention this as well, I feel very strongly. It doesn't mean that you never have an emotion of, 
why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to others? This is really horrible. But you have a choice what you're going to do with it. Suffering goes in the category of senses and feelings. The more you're feeding it, the worse it gets. The more you know that it comes to me to learn something and to get out of it, to exit, the quicker it goes. It doesn't mean you are numb. So let me invite you to the, with the flute, to find that bridge out of suffering. can feel that sound bridge that we are all given including myself so keen to hear how this works for you and keen to hear where you are at and how you can use these ingredients to exit suffering from my heart to yours